Hey guys, so in the following video, I'm going to quickly show you how to find out which images are too large on your website and basically how you can find those that you need to optimize to speed up your website. So we just have a standard uh, page here uh, currently on the site and uh, we would like to uh, find out what images um, are very large because it, it, you know we feel it's loading a little bit slow. So, so uh, you can copy any link um, or any page and inspect it and we're going to use the tool Pingdom from Pingdom. So tools.pingdom.com uh, you can inspect any website so you'll just want to go ahead and put in your URL choose the location so choose uh, one that's closest to you or your server and run the test. Now as soon as the uh, Pingdom runs a test uh, it'll tell you the page size and you know Right now I can see the page is 9.8 megabytes, which is quite large. Um, and to find out which images are, are quite large and probably unoptimized, we'll do that by going down to the file requests down here at the bottom. And here we can click filter by size. And by doing so, we can see which images are large. So right now you can see we have three or four images that are uh, four megabytes. In this case, you know that those images are going to be far too big for your website and you're probably going to need to optimize them uh, to make sure that they're loading correctly. Just a quick note, uh, whenever you are uploading the images you should uh, decide on the actual size so make sure that it's not, uh, you're not uploading a, an image like 6,000 pixels wide but it doesn't have to be. Um, but we cover that also in the tutorials for how to resize your images for the web and how to find the correct dimensions for your website. So this will allow you to find images. If you want to see what the image is, you can right click, open the link, and then you'll see what image it is for the website. So I can I see that there's a few images here that we could optimize. You can do the same on any page in your website. Find out what looks like it's a little bit too large, and uh, then you'll know. If you also want to use one other tool, you can use uh, Google PageSpeed Insights. And, uh, it will actually tell you uh, what images it believes are unoptimized. Now, it's not always 100% correct. It doesn't uh, tend to take into account uh, those of you that are using responsive sites where images need to be larger in different screen devices. But it's still a good uh, possibility to go and check those images and see what, what there is to optimize. So again, same principle here. It's telling me that we can save 2.3 megabytes if we optimize these images correctly. And again, Using this uh, Pingdom tool here, you can sort of uh, find what images are rather large and try and optimize those. I do try to tell people to keep uh, large slideshow images like this up at the top under uh, one megabyte if possible. Um, it shouldn't be a problem if you optimize them and save them for the web. Um, but if you do have an image with lots of colors, around one megabyte will be fine. If that is the case, don't load uh, more than four or five images in your slider. Remember, the slider is only there for impact. It's not going to be displaying your portfolio. Just get a, a few couple of, um, get a few images that are really going to sell yourself and then try and get people to get into your content. So hopefully that helps guys uh, and let us know if you have any questions.